All right, YouTube, hey, Josh here at the Lumber Company. Actually, check this building out right here, 60 by 64, 16 feet tall, with this beautiful 12 foot porch. A little windy, so let's go inside here, then we'll come back here and show you this video here. But again, 16 feet tall, you can see here, two foot overhangs, gonna be used as um, a pavilion, a recreation hall. You can see here, we just poured the concrete on this. So if you've been following along the journey here, let me get inside here. It's fairly windy, fairly chilly out. But you can see here, we just poured the concrete on this, a five inch pour right here, sawed and sealed right there. And if you remember here, if you go back maybe about a month ago or so, you'll see this building. But you can see how we set this up with a concrete foundation. We set it up. You can see we use floor ply laminated columns there with the wet set brackets there. All right, so we anchor boat or anchor bolted that in there. But if you look on the outside here, an interesting one, you can see if you follow along on the videos here, we actually use a concrete perma column on those posts out there. And those actually had a six by six. And what we did there is actually we put half inch CVX to get that flush. And then we put the ASEC trim on that. So it makes that look pretty nice here. And the reason why I'm inside again, it's pretty windy out there, guys. Try, trying to control the sound quality on this. All right. And you can see what we did there. We kind of used what I call like pavilion bracing, that diagonal bracing right up there that supports the, the uh, double top girt truss or yellow pine headers up there. All right, again, two by 12 yellow pine. We talked about this before. Again, we like our yellow pine. We get it obviously from down south, Alabama versus a, a Douglas fir. But again, it depends where you're watching this video, where you're located. A Douglas fir, we've gotten that before, but it tends to a little bit more I noticed the more crackage on that versus the yellow pine, a little bit harder. So we like our double double top girth trusses to be, or actually double top headers to be yellow pine right there. All right, kind of gives you an idea here. And then you can see we put this beveled ceiling up here on this, it gives it an arc. Again, a 60 by 64, 16 feet tall. And actually it looks more majestic than probably what it is, but with that raised ceiling, you know, gives you just the presence of a bigger space. Again, depending on what you're doing there, as far as, and again, this was commercial spec out uh, by the engineering firm, but we used a double, you can see there, two by 12 yellow pine on that. Again, you can see the existing header right there, two by 12, and those hurricane ties for those. Again, this is fairly technical, but typically, if you've been following these videos, we use an H1. Those right up there, actually, those are an H10. You can see those are heavier duty, bigger hurricane time. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. And again, two by four wall construction here. Again, we utilize 1650 MSR lumber for that. All right, again, this is a state of Ohio. So again, depends on your zoning, but typically that's pretty standard there. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea here. So a nice size building. Then actually, let's go outside there. And you can see actually up there on that overhead door, up a bigger one right there. You can see we use an LBL, and then we put a two by eight up there as well. All right, so let's go out and check actually, give you kind of an overview of what this building is. But this is actually situated at the, the fairgrounds in Attica, Ohio. Really, this is one actually the premier tracks for sprint car racing, or sprint car enthusiasts. by 64 post frame building 16 feet tall and then we have this nice wraparound porch as well again 12 feet tall and then i share with you let me give you a little closer detail actually on this exact trim and you can see what we did as far as the ladder panel on this as well so you can see that exact trim so this really gives it a, a beautiful set off to this building so the exact trim as i walk here all right then I'll share with you actually what we did here actually on this ceiling right here. You see how we, now we could have done this a little bit different here, but you can see how we kind of ran that. And again, for aesthetics here, you see how we ran that diagonally here. Now we could have ran it a long ways and then kind of crossed horizontal, but we chose to go diagonally on that. So for aesthetics, so kind of gives you an idea there. Again, all comments are welcome. And let me know. All right, so keep it locked, keep it loaded right here, Attica Lumber, and then AtticaLumber.com.